Today I will show you how to data mosh in After Effects. Yo, it's Povikas here and let's begin. All right, so to data mosh, you need to have some clips. So for this video, I have clips from the fake mink Easter Pink music video and also Osamason clips from his Annette Spence music video, which is called Withdrawals, I think. And for this tutorial, I will be using this plugin called data mosh 2. Well, it's not actually free and I'm not sponsored by the way, but it ha does have like a free seven day trial. So you at least need to try this plugin out because this is the best way to data mosh in After Effects or anywhere by far easily at first i will just show you how to like use data mosh very simply and then i will show you how i use it to create like those crazy looks that you see from my edits or just in like those really popular videos so i'll open up my data mosh 2 extension or plugin i don't know what to call it you know so if you want to data mosh uh let's say from this clip to this clip well you would need to set an ending point maybe right here by pressing n uh, just to make the render time a bit less. And if you want, you can even set like a render start, like maybe by pressing B here, right here. Yeah. It's very important to remember the B and the N buttons on your keyboard. And all you would need to do here is go to the middle between these clips so right here, check up on it. You don't need to do this, but I just wanted to show you where it is. And you would need to go to remove frames, like press it right here and press plus. And then all you just do is press data mosh and just wait, sit back, relax, and have a really basic data mosh, which all it looks real cool by the way so yeah wait just a second all right so yeah, it will look like this it's a super simple data mosh i mean what did you guys expect if you were doing this without a plugin you would have to spend like 10 minutes of work to do that maybe a bit less but yeah you get that pretty fast but what i actually like to do and how i use this plugin is i like to mix up that look with the presets now by pressing plus you will start to get the presets now with these presets you can use them alone and not use them with the remove frames but i will use them with so one thing i like to do is i also like to add multiply now with multiply multiply i actually like to set the ending point a bit further because my philosophy is i like to mess around a lot you can set the end point like by pressing n right here like on another clip completely or you can set it even further away right here so we will data mosh like way further for the beginners we can just press data mosh and you will see what we will get by just with these basic settings so yeah i'm just gonna press data mosh so here we get instantly something way cooler and it will have data mosh okay this clip as well now these are not specifically the settings i actually like to use for multiply though what i like to do is in multiply i like to go to intensity and i like to make it to 30 and the acceleration to 50. now i will turn this off back again and one thing i will also do is as you can see multiply is right here but i like to push it one two frames backwards and i'll stretch it out a little bit further maybe like to end like on that clip as well and this is the little secret sauce that i like to use and now let's press data mosh and we will get a this result which is like super pixelated just a mess and now this is what i kind of like about this this whole little look all right so this is might be a little bit too much and this might be a little bit too much as well but you can use these pixels very easily in edits by the way but this is what i like that last clip accidentally got messed up like this and it's exactly like a really cool look i don't actually even know how to else to get this look without doing this so yeah this is like a really cool tiny data mosh for that and now if you just wanted to do it a little bit more simpler well you could have added this point right here and it would have looked a bit different you just really need to mess around a lot with the settings these are just settings that i kind of like but uh, you might not like and another really cool thing you can do is actually delete the multiply but keep the remove on i'll actually delete that whatever that was and i'll plus plus here go to here and let's go to experimental and go to swap now swap is amazing but to actually use swap you actually you need to understand one thing is that you need to place this donor p whatever that is you know at the start here and you need to drag this point right here so you need to drag it at the start like that and i will delete this so we will just have like a little clip and now what we can do is just press data mosh and now as you will see swap is amazing and you will get also like this messed up frame right here yeah swap is just a really cool effect but i really like to use swap with the remove by pressing plus right here as well it just looks fantastic this way and if you like really want to get messy more pixels we can delete everything here so i can show you actually here so i'll press b here I'll, i want to show you this a uh, little trick really fast 
and I will actually turn off this and go to plus here. And all you will need to do is go to multiply and make the intensity to 30, acceleration to 50, but without holding it right here and just make the multiply go two frames backwards. Honestly, this is a really similar trick that I showed you before. So yeah, maybe not that special, but yeah, let's just uh, see how this will look. All right, this try looks like this. That is also really cool. Oh yeah, this is, as you can see, you will get a crazy data mosh. So really recommend to just have have multiplied intensity to 30 and acceleration to 50 and sometimes just not have the remove frames at all if you want to get like these really experimental frames that i had like in the tutorial intro for example like i, I imported like some of like these type of frames you know like these type of frames then you really just need to let the data mosh be for as like as long as possible so what i mean by that is like go to plus here uh multiply and make the intensity to like 30 i guess acceleration to 50 and then just drag this point down like somewhere maybe even here and just get some really messy frames and then just yeah mess around like that uh yeah by pressing data motion you will get like super messy frames by doing this and a final last little cool trick is if you have like a twitching clip if you don't know how to make twitching clips i actually have made a tutorial on that so you can check that out after this video but if you have a twitching clip you can mix it up fantastically with data motion so what i mean by that is i'll press b here i'll go to the ending maybe right here okay between these two clips i'll press plus and I will go to average, average X and Y, and just press data mosh. And you will have this crazy twitching effect. It's insane. And, and since I had clips after that, they will get messed up as well. Just a little bit, like portions of that. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. If you have any questions, then please let me know. But anyways, it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.